So now, Kyle throws a punch. This is a move that I broke a guy's arm on. And it's not hard to do. I call it the Bussy Sandwich. <laughs> you know why? There's no baloney. <laughs> so what's happening here, and here's how you practice it, folks. Take your left hand like that. Take your right hand like that. Now, is that going to be able to do all that, the street fight and all that? Well, maybe if you do it like me, I've done it a million times. And the guy that was punching me that I broke his arm was really hitting me as hard as he possibly could, which makes it even better for me. It's harder when he's missing me. But when we were going full contact power, bare knuckle, well, he was so committed that when I did the move, it broke his arm. And so, anyway, he throws the punch. You see how I practice that? Throw it again. Again. See how I did it? And it's not much different than trying to block it. That's a block to the outside. Here's a block to the inside. You know what I mean? It's not much different except that I'm sandwiching and I get my head out of the way in case I screwed up. If I miss all together, my face is at least not quite there, you know? So I fought guys where I, I'm not trying to do that every time. We're free, so we're fighting and hitting each other and stuff. And he might throw one or something and I wait for the right time and then I get it. Are you with me? Sir. So then after that, he throws that punch. And then I'm going to go into my tape down. Okay? Now how am I getting there? First thing is, remember when he's committed, he's vulnerable. Now he's protected. Now he's vulnerable. So the timing is essential. The second he's reached the peak of the punch, the hand that I just hit him with, I'm hitting and hitting again. It's not hard. I'm hitting and hitting again. So he throws it, I'm going bang, bang, before he gets a chance to throw a second punch or whatever. If he does throw a second punch, he's got to throw it over the top of that arm. You see? So here comes the punch, I go bang, bang. Then I grab that front arm. It's not left out there, he's retracted. Sorry, it's not in the edge of the face. Uh, I grab that arm, uh, and that's a good time to throw a nice low kick to the crotch, to the leg, to the crotch or maybe the midsection, which is what I did. So he throws it, bang, bang, boom, grab that arm, hit it again maybe, and here comes the arm drag. My all-time favorite busting move, you remember it, Billy? Instead of trying to control him, like you see in law enforcement, they teach that. It's great, but the call's too strong for me, he'll beat me every time. I don't go over, I go under, and I can take my head. Now, pull your arm out of there. You see how I have a little control there? Not for very long, but I got him for a second or two. Sure. So now that I got that, I'm in a great spot to protect myself. I got control of the arm. All I got to do is use that left, left leg to sweep out his leg. 